Hey, hello, welcome. So in previous video, I have created integration for insert data into ATP table, update data into ATP table, and in case of that ID is not present in the table, then how we can update or create new row in that ATP table. So if you have not watched that video, go and previously watch that first, all the videos. So now in this video, we will talk about the select statement. So how you will get the data from ATP table by using the select statement. Okay, so I will in this video, I will create that one. So for creating the one first, what requirement is that I will provide a payload to the integration. So in the payload, what I will do, I will give the ID and as a response, I required all the columns from the table. Okay, so here just I am going to create a new. So select for select payload. Okay, so in this payload, if you will see just I will share only the ID. I will share only ID to the table, uh, the integration as a request payload and in response I required all these columns. Okay. I will, I required all the columns. So here in response, I required all the column with a status success or successfully fetch data, something like that. Okay. So now this is my request payload response payload and the above are response payload okay. so now let's go and create new integration so here i will go and i will create a new integration app driven select and the name i have i will give that select data from atp table zero one okay so just click on the create and first first the thing what we are going to do is that whenever we are selecting the uh, app driven orchestration we are adding the endpoint rest endpoint so that it can configure the request and the response payload so i will add the rest endpoint over here and i will configure request and the response payload so here i will give url so suppose select get data okay select data i will select post because i want to configure request and the response payload next so here I will select JSON so that I can provide the sample. So here this is my request sample. Okay. And now I have to select the response payload. Okay. Go to next. Here this is the response payload. Select JSON. And also I have created the request pay response payload. So all this data will come from ATP table and I will map this data in response so that it can return all the data. Okay. Just go to inline, paste it here. It's not going to completely okay. So here I will paste okay and next done. So my integration is initiated with this start endpoint, rest endpoint. It will get the request and it will return back the response. So before going to return back the response, I have to configure the ATP adapter so that I can get the data from ATP table. So here we have connection ATP. So I will configure here. I will give the name select ATP. This is the name of endpoint so that we can configure the we can check that. So here this is the name perform an operation on table. I will select the select operation. Okay. Now next I have to select the schema and here I will give percentage to figure out the table. So here this is my table XXML XX S2 and TV go and import table. So now you can see this table is imported, but if you will not configure anything, it will return back all the columns and all the data available in this table. But I want to configure that I want to configure this payload in such a way so that it will return only the data which have the ID provided in the request. So here in review or edit SQL query, I will go and I will add one parameter. So, so here if you see in SQL edit or edit using expression builder, if we will go just click over here. Okay. And here, here we have to click on this add one. So here I have to add based on that first argument that is ID right here. We can change also based on ID based on which column we want to select, but I want to go for ID. So what should be the value and all. So here I will select ID and equals literal or fixed value and parameter literal is the fixed value I can provide here parameter is means that it will be the value and query key and all so I will select the parameter 
give the name of that parameter is suppose p underscore id ठीक है डन क्लिक ऑन ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस आई डी इज एडेड इन वेयर क्लॉज हेयर यू कैन सेलेक्ट ऑल दिस कॉलम नेम एंड ऑल फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट टेबल वेयर आई डी इज कल्स टू पी आई डी एंड वी हैव टू मैप दिस पी आई डी विथ द रिक्वेस्ट पेल वर्ड ओके सो गो ओके एंड यू कैन ओके एंड नेक्स्ट इवन यू कैन एड ऑल दिस थिंग्स फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो सेलेक्ट एसक्ल इडिट एंड यू कैन एड द पैरामीटर हेयर एंड यू कैन मैप दिट पैरामीटर दिस साइड ओके सो हेयर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू ओके नेक्स्ट डन so you will get a mapper of this endpoint and based on the mapper we can assign the value so this is the mapper select atp this is the endpoint and this is the mapper of that endpoint so i will put the value which value i want to pass to this atp endpoint so here go and here this is the pid we have created as parameter where in where clause and i will map this request with this atp values okay you can say that this is the start rest request payload okay so validate and close so now here in this point using this response of this endpoint we will get the all the columns from the atp table so i have to map all the column with this uh, mapper okay so i will edit this mapper so here you can see that select atp response here we have select atp request in request we have one parameter as pid so i want to get the response so in response you can see all the columns here you can say this is a table name and this is all the columns so i want to return so start rest response response wrapper and you can see all this value so i will map this id with pid name with p name class with class and session with session and now a status so i will hard code this value because i have not any values for that success okay and now this is the process message so in process message i want to give that as you do see do successfully fast data from atp table now done so our response is also mapped just close and here remove the error by enabling the tracing variable so in tracing variable i can use my parameter values or request parameter just you can say the error is resolved just go for save and close our integration is completed i will get in this integration we'll get one value as a request payload and based on that value we will get the data from atp table and we will return back all the data as a response friends if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you will subscribe it will give us pleasure so that make that kind of videos again and again thank you so much so here you can see that i will go for test so now here we are providing ids so we are going to provide id 1006 just click on this test in response you can see that we have pid 106 and based on that id we have p name as 2003 class bca session this one we can verify here from here you can see that for s21006 the name is 2003 now let's check for 1001 Okay so here in request i will give 1001 click on the test so here you can see that for 1001 we have around the four mc and all so thank you so much guys for watching this video in next video i will create another integration for another activities okay so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel